We've just picked up a new Valhalla update that is out right now, it's free for you to play and it does come with some new content, but is it actually worth your time? Well in the next 5 minutes or so I'm going to break down everything new in this update for you so you can decide if it's actually worth jumping back into and let's actually first start with the download size and this will vary for everybody of course but Ubisoft have officially stated in their patch notes that you're looking around approximately 7.8 gigabytes on the Xbox One Series X and S, 1.4 to 1.8 gigabytes on the PlayStation 4 and 5 and another fair fairly decent 7 gigabytes on the PC. Additionally, there are some requirements you need to do before you can unlock this new armory and gear loadout feature, which I'm going to fully break down for you in detail in just a second. But just so you know, you will need to have Ravensthorpe upgraded to assessment level of 3 and have a solid amount of foreign cargo resources stocked up to purchase the building itself, which you can only earn from river raiding. And if you haven't actually played this mini game yet, you can do so by speaking to Vaughn down at the docks in Ravensthorpe. So now that you've got that sorted, you'll then be able to construct this new armory building which will allow you to unlock five gear loadout slots which you can then create and customize yourself in the infantry screen. Now the general purpose of this mechanic allows you to freely switch between specific playstyle or gear builds pretty much what we had in AC Odyssey if you played that game and I do actually wish this feature had been implemented at Valhalla's launch I think it's really good but that aside let's just say that you have a stealth range or an aggressive melee build that you want to equip well you're going to be able to do so now with just one click of a button instead of manually having to search in your infantry and then equip each specific weapon or armor piece which just takes far too long. So a really good thing about this is we can now purposefully create and tailor loadouts to match our desired playstyle and then swap all of these different gear loadouts back and forth whenever we want in the infantry menu. And another positive about this is that we don't actually have to return to Ravensthorpe to use this feature unlike the transmog option in game and I think that is an excellent addition there. And incidentally when you actually create a loadout in your infantry the armor and weapons themselves will automatically be displayed in your armory building in your settlement for you to fondly admire. And I like to think of this as a kind of personal gallery essentially of all your favourite weapons and armour pieces that you've collected throughout your playtime in Valhalla. And if you have played previous Assassin's Creed games before, this mechanic is going to be very familiar to you and I'm glad they've brought it back. Thing is though, you don't just start with the full 5 loadout and gallery display options. You'll actually start with 2 slots after building the armour itself and then you're going to have to incrementally upgrade the building to take full advantage of this new feature to then unlock those 5 available loadouts in your infantry. You do this of course by obtaining those foreign resources we discussed earlier which are earned by partaking in river raids which have also seen a refresh in this update and do come with new rewards and I'll also walk you through all of that in just a second but if you wanted to unlock the armory in full and then get those five loadout slots you'll need 2,500 foreign supplies in total and if you're starting from zero it'll take you approximately five raids with the cargo hull fully upgraded to 600 resources per raid so around a couple hours worth of grinding to get those five loadout slots in total. And by the way, if you have found this no-nonsense breakdown informative so far, please do leave a like on the video. It genuinely really helps me out, so thank you very much. Okay, so let's say that you haven't got the foreign supplies that you need to fully upgrade your armory, as well as purchase all of these new rewards from Vaughn Shop, which we'll cover in just a second. Well, of course, you're going to need to grind them out by river raiding, but has anything actually changed in this minigame in terms of new rivers or challenges in this update as a whole? Well, the the honest and straight up answer is no. There's no new locations or boss battles added in this update which is a little bit disappointing to be honest but I've got a sneaky feeling that we may be realm raiding in the future updates and they're kind of just holding off on announcing that for now but let's just take a look at these new rewards available to see if it's worth your time and that is three new weapons, five hair cosmetics and you may also see some settlement cosmetics from previous events in this menu if you haven't already purchased them before. But let's first take a look at the at gear. It's called the Balfran and excuse the pronunciation there but it's going to increase the damage of your next two light attacks by 25% after every kill which is average in my opinion and we've also got similar stats here for the Balfouran Hunter Bow and after every kill your next two arrows they're going to increase the damage done by 25% as well and we've also got a like for like here for the Balfouran Scythe in terms of that plus 25 damage but only on the next two heavy attacks after a successful kill. Now as for appearance I am struggling to kind of nail down what influences have dictated 
their design. I'm coming up short, to be honest with you. But to me, they do look like the type of weapons a bohemian undead angel of death would decide to equip before he would head out to go soul hunting. It's certainly the case for the flawless design, in my opinion, anyway. Additionally, they can be upgraded to mythical and their appearance will change with that upgrade. And I'm going to leave it up to you what you think of these particular designs. If you think they may be reskins, do let us know down below in the comments. Now, as for the beard and haircuts, they're called the Vikinger Braids. They're very springy and flowery indeed. Perhaps a reskin of the Ostara Festival and shout out to Michael on Twitter for the heads up for that. I'm not exactly sure they're the same, but they definitely look similar. Now, as for game improvements, we've picked up another substantial amount of fixes across the whole game, which is a positive thing in my opinion. And in fact, there is actually just too many to go through in this video. So I'll pop the patch notes in the description so you can check if there's a bug that you've been suffering from has been resolved. Additionally, I do have a very sneaky feeling that we're going to be picking up some new stuff and info in Valhalla and Assassin's Creed in general to discuss very soon, by the way. So if you do want to keep up to date with everything Assassin's Creed, make sure you do subscribe so you can find your way back here easily. And a big thanks to Nika for speedrunning this update for us so we were able to get to grips on what was fully involved. Legend Coffee is definitely on her and I will catch you in the next video.